A massive new Amazon facility will bring 1,500 jobs to Thornton. This center will be different than others because it will only handle smaller electronics that many of us order regularly. This comes as Amazon is already building a fulfillment center in Aurora. There, they will pick, pack, and ship larger items like sports equipment. This site will employ 1,000 people. The new robotic center will sit on 80 acres of land at I-25 and 144th Avenue. CBS 4's Jennifer Bryce in, in Thornton right now with more on what to expect. So, Jen, I guess supply is meeting the demand, huh? Very much so in this case, and that's exactly why Amazon is coming here to Colorado once again. Thornton city leaders say that it's the shoppers in the North Metro area as well as the Denver area. All that demand that has created this situation with Amazon. And it means also that customers in and around here will get, in some cases, some of their products within two hours of ordering it online. Amazon's footprint is expanding once again into Colorado. This plot of land will soon become a massive multi-level sorting facility for the online retailer. City leaders believe Thornton was chosen because of location, demand, and workforce. Having a site right on I-25 with an interchange at 144th Avenue, also having access to a larger workforce from which they can pull for the kind of employees they're looking for. The new facility will bring 1,500 jobs. A robotic sorting system will also pick and pack at the new facility, which will focus on small items like electronics and books. This system helps to make delivery fast. That enables us to fulfill customer orders faster with more inventory selection, and that means that we need to hire more people to make sure we can keep up with demand. Amazon will hire full-time hourly jobs, and it's all coming to Thornton based on customer demand. It's because of the, constant, the population concentration in Denver that they're building this here to serve this population more. And the city of Thornton tells me that this new facility should be up and running by August of 2018. Live in Thornton, Jennifer Bryce, CBS 4 News. Jen, thank you.